Hi YouTube. Um, I thought I'd do another video. I was just sorting out a ton of stuff that I've had in the office uh, and looking up prices, current prices on eBay uh, to work out where I'm going to set my buy it now price. And while I have all this random assortment of stuff out, I thought I'd do a kind of haul video. It's not a load of stuff I've just gone out and bought. It's stuff uh, that I had in the office and I'm just going through it all right now to to assess the prices. Um, but it's a it's a good mix of stuff, and I thought it'd make an interesting video just to show you uh, the sort of stuff I buy and the complete range of stuff that you can sell on eBay and make good money, uh, and give you an idea of the sort of profit margin of stuff that you can achieve. Um, so yeah, let's start up here. This is a baby monitor. This is a um, a BT one. The BT ones are really worth looking out for. Um, it's got its nice little uh, carry case. Um, I've looked this up now. I should get around £20 for this. And I think I paid £2 uh, at a car boot sale. The BT ones, there's ones that go for even more money. This is uh, Digital Baby Monitor Plus. That was a nice little find. Uh, this is a guillotine. Uh, it's a decent make. It's uh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Dala or da yeah, it must be Dala. Uh, rotary guillotine. Now, when I bought this, I had no idea of its value. It just looked like something that somebody would be looking for, so I picked it up. I honestly can't remember what I paid. I would imagine, not knowing that it was worth much, I would have only paid a couple of pounds at most. So probably in this for two pounds. I've looked it up and I was surprised. Even used, I could possibly achieve up to £40. I'm amazed by that one. So yeah, guillotines. I don't know if it's to make this Dala, but I've looked them up and they're selling for up to £40 used. So I'm going to start it at 40 I'm happy to come down from that if it doesn't sell. So that was nice. There's one to look out for. I'll certainly be looking for more of them now. Uh, this is a little vintage electronic game. Uh, I still haven't tested it. I need to pop a battery in and test it. I could not find this on eBay. I found some stuff similar which weren't going for a great deal. Um, so as long as it works, I think I'm just going to pop it on for five or six pounds because the ones that were similar with this sort of layout of buttons weren't going for a lot. So I don't think there's a lot of value in that. Uh, but it was 50 pence that. Now the car boot again. Uh, a few DS games I've picked up. I've just gone through to check the values. Um, I can't remember what I paid on these. I'd imagine it was a bundle. I probably paid a five or something. There's five games there. One doesn't have a case. Uh, two of them I'm going to do individually. This Thomas and Friends one is a great one. Uh, where you can see I've, I've, put, I've put these notes on so I don't have to go through and look it up again. This will remind me I've looked it up and that's the price. So that's what I'm going to set it at. £15 with free delivery, uh, and I should get that. So it's Thomas and Friends, Hero of the Rails. So that's a good one to pick up. Peppa Pig ones always have a market. Not as much value in this. It's quite a common game. So I'm going to go for 7 99 and free. And then these other ones, there's an Imagine Teacher Junior Brain Trainer. And this one, which is, I can't remember, Best of Tests, whatever that is. Those don't really have any particular value. So what I do is I, I save ones that aren't worth doing on their own. And when I've got five, six, or ten, or whatever, I do a bundle. So that's what I'm going to do with those. Um, picked up another little bundle of PS3 stuff and a Blu-ray. Um, I think I'm in these for about five or six pounds. I think I paid for the bundle. Um, again, I've gone through them. There's two that I'll do on their own. Lego Batman 2, I'm going to put on for a tenner with free shipping. Time Crisis Raising Storm. It's got water damage on the sleeve. I don't know if that shows up on the screen there. Um, I might have asked about ten, but I'm going to ask eight because of the damage. Um, and then these, there's the Dark Knight Blu-ray. Copy of Haze, Beijing 2002, a Vegas 2, and a Gran Turismo Prologue. 
they're really not worth fiddling around with. I'll only get a pound or two each if I'm lucky. I sell them on their own. So I'm going to whack these on as a bundle. Um, I haven't really decided on a price yet. I might do those five and put it on at ten pound with free shipping just to get shot of them. They owe me so little anyway. That's fine. Uh, I picked up this. This was a nice find. It's a pair of wireless official Sony SingStar mics. So you've got the red and the blue. If you see these, they are worth picking up just as they are. I've sold them as replacement wireless mics before for £10 each, uh, which, is, which is a great way of doing it. If you pick them up and they don't have this, or even if you just pick up one. But this is the wireless receiver, which if you're going to sell them as a set, you need that. Um, that those I could sell at £20 just for the mics, but it had a couple of games with it. Uh, it had SingStar Volume 2 and SingStar Plus Dance. So what I've decided is I'm going to do £25 uh, for the bundle. And I paid £5 for that, so that's quite nice. Um, I found an N64. This is quite a nice colour. This is a see-through sort of turquoise green one. It has in there as an expansion pack. If you've not bought and sold these before, usually there'd just be a little black pack in there called a jumper pack, which you can whip out and pop in this. This is an extra memory pack um, called an expansion pack. And, and they're worth money on their own. I haven't sold one for a while, so I couldn't tell you what they're currently going for. So it's nice it's got that in. Uh, it's got a, a matching controller. The sticks tend to go on these. They go all floppy. But this one's nice and tight, so that's really good. I mean, those on their own you can get. Again, it's been a while since I sold one of them. 10 to 15 pound possibly, I can't remember. It's got an aftermarket Logic 3 one, which won't have much value, if any. But unfortunately, it doesn't have all its leads. It's got a power pack, but it doesn't have uh, an RF lead in the little black box that the RF lead comes out of. I may have a lead somewhere that will do that. What I will probably do with this, I don't know. I can either wait to get a lead uh, and sell it as a complete, but I'm thinking what I'll be doing will be <coughs> to just parting it out, to sell the parts individually. Um, so yeah, I haven't actually looked up prices on that. I'm thinking, when I looked at it today, I realised it doesn't have everything it needs. It'll probably go back on the shelf until I decide what I'm doing, or I find the little square thing, or a lead that plugs straight into there. Um, but they, they always sell either parted out or as a complete one. Um, some roller boots here, or roller skates. Ooh, quite heavy. Uh, these are quite nice. Um, the make on these is Phoenix. There you go. Phoenix. It's a bit scratched off there. And they're. they're very sturdy, decently made things. And I was quite surprised at these. I picked these up. Uh, these were like a jumble sale, uh, a school jumble sale, and I think they were a pound. I can't really remember. I've looked them up, and I should get 15 to 20. So whether I go at the top end of that and then come down if I don't sell, perhaps. But so that was nice. Um, roller skates. They've got a metal detector. These, I've picked up and sold these before. Um, there's no specific make on these. This is a model number which I've used to look it up and I've found it. Uh, it's got a little screen on, so it's not the, the bottom end of the, the market, but a little screen which shows your information as you go. Um, oh, I had a thing. Uh, yeah, I paid. I paid 10 and I'm going to sell it for hopefully 50. So, yeah, there's money in these. 
so that's the metal detector. I might have to come down to 40, but they've sold up to 50, so you never know. This is interesting. This is a... I buy and sell all sorts of appliances. This is a Prima popcorn maker. You can see that. And it's got all its little attachments and trays and stuff. Um, I think I paid a pound for this. Uh, I didn't know what, really if it's worth anything when I bought it, but when things are at a pound, I buy them so I can learn. Or I look them up on my phone and then I know. Uh, and this should sell for ten pounds. So that was that was a handy little buy. That was good. These I recommend picking up. They're little float jacket things for kids. Uh, they do them in various different sizes. Uh, this is made by Water Kids. And I'd sell these for up to £10. Uh, this one I'm going to stick on at £10 of free shipping. And I'd pick them up for 50p or a pound. Uh, I see them all over the place at car resale, so they're great. Camping stuff, I found another, see this, this box has got damp and it's all falling apart, but the actual burner looks virtually unused. It's really, really nice condition. Uh, it's quite a modern, I sell the old ones of these all the time. This is like a modern version. Uh, there's no gas in it. Um, yeah, I bought that for a pound again. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to go for £10 with shipping on top. I uh, should get that fairly easily. Uh, this is the Lego. This is one of the Lego games that they produced. Um, this is the Ramses Pyramid one. Um, they're not selling for much. I'll only get a fiver if I put it on as the game. And I'm not sure I want to go through and check everything's there. It's got a ton of parts in. Um, you can see that without me picking it all out. Um, but it's got a large 32 by 32 tan coloured base board in it that I'd get £5 for on its own. So I may well split that part. Uh, not sure. Um, I either check it, check that it's complete, and then get a fibre for the whole thing, or break it down and get a fibre for the base and sell the bits off with a job lot of Lego. It's probably what I'm going to do with that. Ah, a couple of these puzzle ball things. These, uh, these always have a market. Uh, this one is a small one, a 270 piece. This was 75p in a charity shop. Uh, I'm looking to get £5 with £3 shipping on so that one. This is the classic globe one. Uh, I'll check them, check them and they are complete. You can read that. Um, and the globe one, which is a 540 piece, I'm looking at getting £10 with £3 shipping. And that one was 95 pence. So £1.70 and I'll get £15 back on those. These are great if you see them. These are Nerf gun um, like ammo clips. They clip in the bottom of the guns. Uh, only one has got any ammo in it, but these have a mark. I've sold these before. Uh, I'm going to ask a fiver each for these. They're the genuine Nerf ones. Uh, I think I've paid a pound for the three. Uh, I sell the Nerf guns all the time as well, so they're always worth picking up. I found some of these. I didn't really know what they were when I picked them up. I've since looked them up. These are Cube Cube World little LCD things. See it come on there, and they they link together. And the little cube, the little guy wanders around between the blocks and interacts with each other. I got four of them, and I paid two pounds for the four. Um, and I've looked them up. I could sell them individually, but it seems like a lot of work, so I'm going to do the four for a tenner. 
uh, and I should get that fairly easily. So they were quite nice. I'd certainly pick those sort of things up again. See that one's on now. I don't know how I turn it off. Um, but those SingStar on PS2. I always pick those up. Um, I haven't actually looked these up yet. I forgot to look these ones up. But what I tend to do with these, certain titles will go on their own. The ABBA one I sold on its own, certainly. Uh, Pop Hits, I think, is one that goes well on its own. Uh, you might get anywhere between four and six or seven pounds for, for a, a slightly obscure title. <coughs> but what I'll do with the ones that are more common and don't aren't worth doing on their own, is I'll do a little bundle. Bundle of five or six and mark it at ten to fifteen pounds and they go really well. Um, so that's SingStar on PS2. There we go. And then I found a PS1 with a load of games. So it's a really nice example. It's all boxed up really good condition it's got everything in there i haven't tested it yet but i thought i'd look it up um 25 to 30 pounds boxed up in this condition so these these are starting to go well there was a period where you, you wouldn't get anywhere near that i haven't sold one of these for a while and because it's in a box and the box is in really nice condition that's what i'm going to ask for that i picked it up <coughs> with a a random selection of games. Oh, not clever. And I've gone through the games, most of which are not worth the time and effort to sell individually. But three of them, I think it's three, yeah, three I'm going to try. SimCity 2000, I'm going to try that at £4 with £2 shipping. Command and Conquer, the original one, big box version, uh, I'm going to try it at £4 as well. And I look, this I didn't think it was a rare title or anything, Destruction Derby, but this seems to sell, so I'm going to try that one on its own as well at £4. And then the rest of them are nothing special at all. So what I think I'll do is just do a bundle of those titles and ask a tenner or something, or maybe put it in with the machine and ask an extra tenner on top with the machine. Uh, I haven't really decided on that one yet. I can't remember what I paid for it. I doubt I would have paid much more than the fiver because I hadn't sold one for a while. I didn't know what it was worth. So I'm probably in that for about five, maybe six pounds. And then there's this. And this was interesting. I was at a store. They were just setting up and there were dealers everywhere. And she was bringing out so much good stuff. And she suddenly brought out this, and these are cigarette cards, uh, all senior service sets. Uh, there's different sets, winter scenes, the Navy, um, and I asked her what she wanted. She came with a price I really wasn't interested in paying, and we went backwards and forwards. There were dealers everywhere, and everyone was grabbing stuff. I could tell people wanted these because they were sort of waiting for me to decide and lingering all around me. Uh, I ended up at a price of £11 and went for it. I thought I couldn't lose at that. I've since looked them up and there's not a lot of value in these. Um, I think three are complete and even then I'd only be getting about £5 a book for these. Um, there's just not a lot of demand for them. So, and then the other four are almost complete. There are 48 card sets. Oh no, four are complete. There you go. And three are incomplete. 47, 40 and 41 cards in those. But what I think I'm going to do with these is just put them on uh, as, a, as a job lot like that and ask £30. And when I, I paid her the £11 which we agreed on, we went backwards and forwards and ended up at the random price of 11 which I was happy to take a punt on. I was just leaving the store and she, and she called me over again and said I could have these. And what these are, are, I'm not sure if they're complete sets or not, they're 
cigarette cards, either cricketers and there's flags and whatever this one is, actors and actresses. But they've been stuck on these sheets of cardboard, which means, to be honest, they're almost valueless, that you can't do anything. You would ruin them getting them off. Uh, and as they are, you can't really display them. There's nothing much you can do with them. So all I'm going to do is just chuck them in as part of that job lot. It might make it a bit more appealing to somebody. So they will go as a job lot for, like I say, £30. Uh, I'm in it for 11 I, I hoped it would have been worth an awful lot more than that. With cigarette cards, you can never tell unless you, you can get online at the time and look them up. So... Yeah, that's it really. I just, while I was going through this stuff and, and looking it up online and I had it all out, I thought I'd do a video. And that shows you that the range of stuff that I like to buy and sell uh, and the sort of money that I can make on all this general junk. It's kind of just people's everyday junk. But if you know what you're looking for and you know what to pick up, uh, it's fairly easy to make some really good money. Um, yeah, if you've not watched me before, um, I'm a full-time eBay reseller. This is what I do to earn my living. And I, I'm on here on YouTube showing you guys what I do on a daily basis uh, in the hope that it will inspire someone to give this a go or help people out who are already doing it with a few hints and tips on what to pick up. Um, so, yeah, please like if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you want to see more videos uh, as I make them. And thanks for watching. Bye for now.